Has this ever happened to you? You go to go to work, and all of a sudden you got a light on. That horseshoe light is your tire pressure monitoring light. And as you can see, the passenger rear has 23 PSI. Let's find out what's going on. Okay, so my tire light came on, as you saw in the last clip. And I found my hole. So I just did soapy water. And spray it. You see it coming out right there, bubbling. It's a very slow bubble. And when it comes to that part of the tire, it cannot be fixed. It needs to be replaced. Okay, so you may ask yourself, what makes the TPMS light come on? Well, it's either too much air pressure or too little air pressure. So I think the industry standard is around 5 PSI, plus or minus, from what the manufacturer recommends. I think... But I know what comes on when it's below that threshold. So like my car here, the Malibu, it cost for 35. It was down to 24 or whatever it was in the clip. That'll, that's 11 pounds from what it's supposed to be. So, But yeah, when it comes to actually repairing the tire, I put the tire back on since I shot that last clip. You can only, you only have the width of the tread. That's it. When it comes to like usually a thumb width towards the sidewall of either side that's it that's all you got so if you can't fix it within the tread mainly the middle of the tread and the first last layer of bricks of tread i, I call them that's it i was going to show how to fix the tire because I, I have a kit here i've never used but on amazon it's been a while now probably over a year but I've never used it and I was hoping to use it today just to show how to, how to fix it because it's really not that hard uh, it's it, you, it can be done on a car if it's a front wheel but I would highly recommend taking off the car that way you got plenty of leverage to shove this thing through the tire. This is a this is like a knurled bit. It's a very fine tip on it. And you just shove it through. And then you put it comes with little plug rope rope plugs they're called. And you put them halfway through this, then shove it down in the tire. But hopefully maybe one day I'll get a chance to actually show it. I just have it here because I have the the knowledge and the tools and everything else to fix a tire if needed. That's what, like I said, what I was hoping to do today. So, okay, well, maybe I may have, uh, I know I have a Kia brake job coming up, front brakes. I don't know when that'll be. Probably it'll be later this month sometime. Look for it at the end of June or 1st of July. Maybe July 4th when I'll upload it. I don't know. But anyway. And if, if I can get away with it, I'll do, I'm supposed to do a brake job for a buddy on a Ford Fusion. I don't know if he'll want to be on YouTube or not, but I can just do the one segment, maybe. We'll see. Okay, that's all for this video.